Hi, here's some basic commands to get you started in Rhino. This tutorial assumes you already know a little bit of AutoCAD, and the list of commands that I use in this video can be found in the video description, along with their default Rhino shortcuts. Enjoy! Zooming works the same in most programs, just scroll your mouse wheel. If you zoom too far out and lose yourself in your own scene, select All and then type ZS to zoom what you've selected. To pan your camera view in a perspective view, hold shift and press right click. If you're in any other orthographic view, you don't have to hold shift, just use right click. To orbit around in the perspective view, hold down right click. This doesn't work in any other view except perspective. Polyline. Same as CAD. Um, yeah, he's right. Just click around to draw shapes. To toggle your orthogonal drawing mode, same as CAD. Ah, uh, right you are, Kevin. You can toggle this with F8 if you're outside of a command, or hold down Shift to toggle it on and off in the middle of a command. To toggle your object snap, same as CAD. Uh, not quite, but you can get it to work that way. If you type in Options and then go to Keyboard, Type in exactly the statement that you see here, and then you can use F3 the same way you would in AutoCAD. To trim an object, it's the same as CAD. Yeah, okay, but you can use this on 3D objects too. Make sure you pay attention to the command line so you can tell the difference between the cutting object and the object that gets cut. To rotate an object in an orthographic plane. Yeah, same as CAD. Yeah, okay, dude, um, but can you rotate things in three dimensions? Ha, huh, I didn't think so. Wait, is, is he gone? Okay, great. Uh, rotate 3D is an excellent command to orient your objects in space. You can define any rotational axis and see where you can orient any piece of geometry. Here's a cool command that'll help you create any kind of surface in space. Just click three points or four points and you get a surface. You can also snap these points to any existing geometry. So there's two different kinds of extrude commands, extrude curve and extrude surface. Curve is just what Rhino happens to call every kind of line. Extrude curve only works on curves and extrude surface only works on surfaces. Who needs lines when you can make boxes? Just click, 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 and you've got a box. The Picture Frame tool is the easiest way to get images into Rhino. Just drag and drop from your file explorer, and then click to define where and how big this image will go. Scale can be a little bit tricky, because there's a few ways to think about it. In general, the first click is where the object will scale from, the second click ends up being a reference point, and the third click ends up being where the reference point will go. You can also replace the third click with an exact measurement, and this will scale any object along that reference to the exact size that you need it. And instead of referencing any distance at all, after specifying the object's origin, then you can type in any scale factor to make something twice as big or half as large. Scaling in one dimension is an easy way to stretch an object along a certain axis. It works very similar to the overall scale command, but it will only scale in the direction of the reference length. To make a copy of an object, <sighs> it's the same as CAD. Oh no, he's back. Uh, but yeah, he's right. It works the same way. And finally, if you want to move objects around, it's the same as CAD. Jesus, dude, what's your problem? These people are just trying to learn.